Microsoft's Lumia 550 disassembly, screen replacement and repair If you are replacing a badly cracked screen, cover it in sticky tape before starting. Remove the back cover by pushing the corners in the direction of the arrows below. With the back cover removed, your phone will look like below. Remove the battery by lifting it from the point indicated below. The battery is now free. Remove the five Torx four size screws, circled. The other five screws are a different length. So keep them separate and don't mix them up. Now remove the other five Torx four size screws, remembering not to mix them up with the first five screws. All the screws have now been removed. To separate the battery compartment from the rest of the phone, start by pushing a plastic tool in the join of the housing at the point indicated below. Then run the plastic tool along the join of the battery compartment on the right side and top side of the phone. You will then be able to lift the battery compartment over, from right to left. With the battery compartment open, you have access to a ribbon cable, connecting the screen circuit board. This cable has a plug-in socket type connection, so lever up away from the circuit board to disconnect. The ribbon cable has been disconnected and the screen has now been separated from the rest of the phone. If you wish to remove the earpiece, top, and vibrating motor, right, lever from the points indicated below. The vibrating motor is stuck down with a little adhesive tape so you may need to apply some heat from a hot air gun or hair dryer to soften the adhesive and make the part easier to remove. The earpiece and vibrating motor are now free. To separate the screen and rear frame, apply heat from a hot air gun or hair dryer for around 60 seconds. Move your heat source all the way around the edge of the screen. This will soften the adhesive tape holding the screen in place. Now slide a plastic tool between screen and rear frame. Start near the top of the screen where there is a recess to push the tool into. Move your tool all the way around the edge of the screen until it comes away from the frame. Apply more heat if the screen is well stuck down. The screen and rear frame have now been separated. Below you can see the front view of the screen. If you only want to replace the screen, you don't need to follow the guide any further. Simply fit a new screen and reverse the whole procedure for reassembly. If you've found this disassembly guide useful, please support formimobile.co.uk and order the tools and parts you need from our site. We ship worldwide. If you want to remove the ribbon cable for the front and rear cameras and USB socket, disconnect the cable circled below. This cable has a plug-in socket type connection, so lever up away from the circuit board to disconnect. To remove the loudspeaker, lever from the point indicated by the arrow below. The ribbon cable and loudspeaker are now free. To remove the circuit board, carefully lever from the points indicated by the arrows below. The circuit board is now free. If you wish to remove the USB cover, simply lift it free. The USB cover has now been removed. To remove the camera flash, Push at the point indicated below and it will come out on the other side. The camera flash is now free. Going back to the flex cable, if you want to remove the front facing camera, disconnect the cable circled below. Again, this cable has a plug in socket type connection, so lever up to disconnect. The front facing camera is now free. Disassembly is now complete. Reverse the whole procedure for reassembly. If you've found this disassembly guide useful, please support formimobile.co.uk and order the tools and parts you need from our site. We ship worldwide.